Alright, B Staff, Fishing Nation, what's going on? Had to come down to the boat today. It is Thursday, August 4th. I just had to do a little uh, quick little maintenance. You know, always gotta do something. So you know, check around, do an inspection, all that kind of stuff. So heading out now. Uh, low tide, I think, was just around eight o'clock, started coming in around nine. It is officially quarter after ten. Uh, I heard the bite really wasn't turning on until later on. A lot of murky cruddy looking water right now coming back into the bay so we're going to wait to see uh hopefully things will warm up and uh, clear up with this uh incoming ocean water right now hey guys this is good 76 Maybe degrees back, back here in the over. uh in the back bay so that's great that's with an incoming now mind you it just started and uh let's just hope let's just hope we still keep uh some water in the 70s back here Fingers crossed for a good day. Uh, congratulations again to our contest winner, Dan SW. Way to go, we've already made contact and uh, we're gonna figure something out, try and get him out here. Really, uh, really excited. So, all right guys, let's go uh, Let's go catch him up. Like, subscribe, go fishing. Okay, B Staff Fishing Nation, we are out here, back bay today. Got uh, some information that they've been hitting in the back bay. So we'll give that a shot and uh, go from there. See what, what happens. See what the, what the chatter's all about. See if we can pick them up. Got a couple spots back here. This is one long stretch that we're gonna hit and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna save, save some fuel, stay in the back here. Winds coming out of the south, incoming tide, so we're going to be working the trolling motor pretty good today. There's a fish on. That's a fish on right there. All right, one little guy. One little guy just showed up. Got. BJ's out here, Captain Jerry's out here on his back bay skiff. That's a nice little flounder, and I mean little. Holy mackerel. Okay. Hey, listen, I'll take them all day long as long as I'm catching. That's to me, that's just fun. That's fun. So that's one. Let's keep it up. So I am in a wind against tide situation. So um, right now, I should be going that way, right? So my line is going that way, which is actually not a pre normal presentation because that means I'm jigging it back this way. So it's kind of an odd presentation, which I, I'm really not a fan of, to be honest with you. So we got to see what we can do here to kind of straighten that mess up. But I can't turn the bow. Start going that way, we got problems. So actually, in all reality, that is exactly what I had to do. I had to turn the bow into the wind. The wind shifted a little bit. So now I have to turn the bow directly into the wind and speed the boat up. With a decent presentation here. So we shall see. We shall see. First drop, one little fish. I don't know. That could be the, the kiss of death, but we'll see. Oh, hang on. That's a good fish. It was anyway. He's sitting on it. A little better fish. We're getting better. We're getting better. He took the Captain America on the top. Okay. Captain America up top. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Try to grab this without getting a hook in the hand. Always something going on here. Let's let's spot lock this real fast. Get this guy out. Man, that was a good hook set. And he don't want to let go. There we go. Oh, and he's gone. Jeez, Louise. He's gone. All righty. All right, that's not a nuisance. Oh, it's a nuisance, you dirty dog. You dirty dog, you bird, bird fish. See you, Robin. 
Stay still, buddy. Stay still, buddy. I'm going to get you off of here as long as you stay still. Stay still, buddy. Flip, flop, and fly, little sea robin. Go get him. That's a good fish right there, guys. That's a flounder. That's a good flounder. That's a decent flounder, guys and girls and girls and guys. That's a negative. That's a caught fish right there. Alrighty. Oh, righty. That may keep. That may keep. Let's see what we got going on here. Get us on hook. Pull him out. Slap him on deck real fast. Hang tight there, buddy. Buddy old pal. for sure he inhaled that bam right across the bottom of his throat bottom of his whatever that is all right we got to get in there with some tools we need some apparatus need some apparatus here buddy get this turn out this fish was hooked not necessarily in its throat but at the bottom of its mouth near its gills and once I determined he was a keeper, then I wasn't going to be very gentle about getting the hook out because he was staying for dinner. He keeps. So we're not going to be that gentle, right? He keeps. He's a slot. I'm not going to call slots today. Okay. Oh, buddy, come on. I don't do this without you turning and burning, turning and biting me. Happens all the time to me. And you got caught good, dude. You got caught good. Oh, we're probably going to bleed this fish. Gonna bleed on his own. Oh, here we go. Here goes the bleedage. All right, hang on there, buddy boy. That's a 17 and a half inch fish. He's bleeding up a storm. Good job. Good job had by all here. Yep, he'll be bleeding out soon, sooner than later. Mm. Should I can keep myself from getting hooked in the back. All right, guys. It got a little goofy. Worked out well. Let's get some aerator. Just to give you guys a little idea what I'm using. On the bottom hook, I am using a one ounce SNS Bucktails white chin jawbreaker with a four inch pink shine gulp grub, about 18 inches to a dropper loop above that. 3040 Gamagatsu bait holder hook with a four inch Captain America swimming mullet. Likewise, you said Aaron, right? Yep. Aaron, pleasure to meet you. You're on film. It's my, my new pal, Aaron. Killer kayaker. Radio check, radio check, over. All righty. Your radio check is good, Captain. Yeah, a lot of, there we go. Oh, ran right out of its mouth. A lot of nuisance fish. Oh, there goes my tail. Keep it moving because these fish are going to start smacking. So now a lot of that was hitting on that, that down slope, right? So they're, we're coming down this way, right? Down slope. What happens? Fish sit here. Water. Bait fish come over top of them. As them fish come down, bada bang. Them flounder come up and snatch them up. So we're going to go back up there in a minute. But I want to get this drift here. I want to see if anything else turns on. I got some deep holes back here, and I just want to keep at it. 
like right there. Gosh almighty. Here we go guys. Yep, no net for him. Uh, I'm up to four now, one in a box. Yeah, good. Yeah, so, so far so good. Another one guys, that's gonna go short. I'm not gonna give it a measure. You get to go free. Do -do. So tide's going this way. Wind's coming at us. Right now. Oh, hang on. Oh boy. Right now my bait's swimming the right way. So that's that's the most important thing. The bait is swimming the way it's supposed to. I just got hit again, keep jigging. on I don't like this one the way he's swimming yep he's a sea robin all right I'll get you off I'll get you, get you off of there hold on just sit tight I know buddy I know I'm gonna get you going okay fly and be free little turkey little sea turkey Let's go. See, we put the old school rod back in the hand. The field and stream tech spec elite. Length 6'6, six, six. line weight 10 to 20, lure weight up to one ounce. Action, medium, heavy, fast. I love this rod for back bay. Love this rod back here. Oh, she got smacked again. Come on, guys. Let's go. Definitely cleaner water coming in. Definitely cleaner water. And it's getting cooler too, so that's you can tell there's more of a more of an influx of ocean water, and the ocean water is having an effect. Cleaner, clearer, a little colder. We dropped about a, a degree. See this tide, this current comes this way, and man, whew, whew, comes right around. Comes right around. This is all flats in here. I still got got some space back here, and I'm gonna keep keep course. Great boat, Grady White Center Console, great boat. So, I will say that in this deeper water, I'm in 28 foot of water, not as productive. So I will focus most of my drifts now, back up where uh, I caught that keeper, and where the fish seem to be a little better. I want to finish this drift out and get past this hole, and then make a move, make an adjustment. Okay guys, all right, Beast Out Fishing Nation, we just reset our drift, and I'm getting little taps already, little guys, holy mackerel, little, 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 little nuisance fish, nuisance fish, nuisance flies, holy mackerel, everything's biting on Beast Out today, let's go, 
Oh boy, that's a fish on, guys. He was leaning on it, and that's a flounder. Holy mackerel. He was leaning on it. All right, hold on. Holy mackerel. Good flounder. No, oh, yep, good flounder. Oh, stay down there. Stay down there, you. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, my God. Can't let him shake off. You can't let him shake with their head out of the water. How many times are you going to do it, Bob Stavola? Beast out fishing nation. That was another one. That was about an 18 inch flounder. That was a nice fish, and that move paid off. And we're going to make so now we're going to shorten our drifts up. No reason for me to go all the way out there where that boat is and beyond, right? I didn't do anything out there. Everything, what everything I did was back in here. So I will be shortening these drifts up because they seem to be focused on the pocket over here. Beast out fishing nation. I'm telling you, I just reset my drift, dropped down, and got a flounder. Like, literally, that fast. All right, smaller guy. Now you don't shake off, right? This guy's caught. Come on, shake off. Of course not, because you're not a keeper. I don't have to get the net out, so of course you're not going to shake off. All right, beast out fishing nation. We are on them. We are on them. I love. I'll tell you what. These jawbreakers, red, uh, white chin, white chin wreckers. White chin wreckers are badass. Let's go back down. I literally dropped. Just dropped, guys. Didn't have a chance to even turn the turn the camera on. I figured, let me get down first. Turn the camera on. Bang. Take a look at the water quality here in the back bay. Once that incoming tide floods and inundates these backwaters, the water clarity and quality is so much better. And honestly, so is the fishing. Oh, is that one? Yep, that's on. That's another little one. Little guy. Oh my goodness. What did I tell you about nuisance fish? All right, see if I can get this little guy. Oh, you're hooked in your gills here, pal. I might be able to save you without clobbering you. Ah, man. Let me see. Stay still. God, it's yes. You are good. You're not hurt. You're no, not bleeding nothing. Look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Little sea bass. Man, that thing just bit my toe off. Holy mackerel, that hurt. Holy mother of goodness. Whew. These green heads are brutal. This trip's going to get short and quick. Oh my god, guys. I dropped down and I just literally got hit. Fish on. Would you send them over my way? <laughs> oh my, well, this one's half the size. Holy Matt, look at these things. And they never shake off. The keepers always shake off, right? Oh, he's a tiny little guy. Come on, let go. God, that thing bit my toe, man. Holy mackerel, that hurts. God, come on. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Keep them in the water. Keep leading them. Keep leading them. Got him. Yeah, buddy. Hit the Captain America. Pretty bad when you gotta coach yourself. Keep them in the water. Dumbo. Phew. Beast out fishing nation. We're back, baby. Man, this guy caught funny. How are we hooked here, pal? Oh, you hooked the net too. Alright. Make life nice and easy on me. Man, he got me foul hooked it. 
All right. All right there, fella. All right there, big fella. Let's get that out of the way. Get the net out of the way. This guy's gonna, this guy's gonna keep too, I think. He's, or he's gonna just, just miss it. Wait a minute. Shut your mouth. 17. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Another 17 inch fish there. There we go, guys. Not big, but they sure are tasty. Hang on, pal, hang on. So we got two slot fish in a box. Alrighty, looking good. So, those of you that have Minn Kotas, okay, I have to stow mine short side to the bow rail, right? Short side to the bow rail. So, here's a tr little trick. If you take your motor, position it, right? Left, right, you know, going to the right, rotate it to the left. I'm going to rotate mine to the left because that's the way it's getting stowed. You position it that way, you pull it out. When you put it back in, you put it back in exactly the way you pulled it out, it's locked in. And you're ready to go you don't have to spin the head around and see if you could find you know have it seat into the controls into the steering it's already ready to go all right let's go back up and get them so oh god guys that's a good fish oh man this is a good fish this is a really good fish Hey, he's strong. Definitely a strong fish, that's for sure. It's a caught fish. Really, really strong caught fish. On the Captain America up top. Man. Man, you felt a lot bigger than what you really are. God almighty, you felt you felt four or five poundish. What am I gonna do when I catch a four or five pounder? I'm gonna panic. I gotta be careful where this hook's at here. All right, where is your hook? But take it easy, you're not that big to be making this much of a racket. Okay, got you. Oh, I see where you're hooked. You're hooked good too. Oh, he's not gonna keep, he'd be close. Oh boy, would he be close. So let's do what we got to do to get this fish quickly out of here. Done. Let's see what he would have went. Sixteen. Sixteen inch flounder. Gone. Oh God, right out of its mouth. I feel like that might have been a flounder too. And he's back. That's, that fish is hooked. That flounder came right back, guys. God almighty. That flounder came right back. Mm. Mm. God. Man, we got a lot of slot fish. He's about barely hooked. Barely hooked. A lot of slot. Come on, there. Shake yourself off, buddy. Do me a favor. Shake yourself off. Hmm. 
barely wow man it's like barely he was barely hooked but he was staying in that that little piece of skin that's for sure all right it's another 16 inch flounder man we are on them today and the captain america top hook is dead guys they're aggressive they're coming off the bottom to feed they are coming off the bottom to feed <sighs> another one comes another one what do we got there see robin i could tell by you were going sideways on me captain america again captain america again i am thinking it's it's the blue in this i really am well the fleck come on buddy let go open your mouth and i can get you out of here i don't want you in my boat any more than you want to want to be in my boat let's go i'm not playing games here buddy i really don't want you here no offense but you're not really a guest you're like you're like that guest that nobody wanted Going and forgotten. All right, beast out fishing. Guys, it's a good day. Gotta love it. Okay, guys, here we go. We are uh, back here with the getting infiltrated by the. Yacht Club of Sea Isle City. Uh, looks like these aren't the younger kids. These tend to be, these look like they're, uh, you know, young adults back here. In their sailboats. Not my cup of tea, but I'm happy to see them on the water. Learning, learning to be out here, learning what needs to be done. Enjoying the gifts that God gave us, right? Guys, the bite has slowed down. It's 100% slowed down. I'm still in the same same waters, and the bite has slowed. Man, here they come. Here comes the Armada, and the bite has absolutely slowed. So we, I think we are just about the top of the tide. Oh, the bite has slowed my butt. This is a big fish. Let's take another good fish. Eh, this fish deserves he deserves a net uh, he's going to be 17 I don't need to net him because if he gets off he's I'm not keeping it so another good fish alright buddy take it easy you just got me all jacked up up here alright he's off I'm getting bit you're dead Another nice fish, not 18, but beautiful fish nonetheless. Thank you, sir, madam, small child, whoever you are. Let's keep it going. Man, am I getting chomped. You're dead. Guys, there's gotta be about 15 dead flies in my boat. I didn't spray, I'm out of spray. Oh, this guy's on there too, come on. Nope. Careful, kids. Man. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. I almost got clobbered. Not one to deal with boats you can't control with a motor. Man, that was close. A little guy, young lady, got close to me. You nope, know, another fish on. Kind of hard to concentrate on fishing when you're. Oh, see, Robin. About to get boarded. About to get rammed to bring it up to ramming speed. Sea Isle City Yacht Club. Sailboats are back here in full force. Full regalia. Get out. Okay.
be staff fishing nation this is so bad i have to literally keep my head on a swivel with with all of these sailboats back here i mean i just had a close call one young lady got pretty close to me she did a good job getting away but i also moved the uh moved the boat with the trolling motor a little bit but uh there had to be the better part of 35 to 40 sailboats come through and uh it's getting uh, a little dicey All right, this is getting a little ridiculous here. I got boats everywhere. Boats everywhere. These kids are good, but man, it takes one strong wind to blow you the wrong way. And next thing you know, we're calling the Coast Guard because I got rammed. Man, they're still coming. Still coming. Whew. All right, Beast Staff Fishing Nation. Um, might as well do the outro here, huh? Where's that sun at? There it is. Let's move over here. All right, Beast Staff Fishing Nation. What a day. August 4th, Thursday. Turned out to be a really good day. We got well over a dozen fish caught. Not all flounder, but some quality fish. I got up to 16 fish on the counter. Um, and two in the box for dinner. That's a good day. Like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Go fishing. This has been a Bee Stav fishing production. No sailboaters were harmed during the making of this video.